Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is about the header and it's something that you cannot do in Divi by default. And that is to hide the theme builder header when you first load the page. But then when you scroll down, it becomes visible and sticky. So again, this is something that you can't just do with like the sticky options because there's no setting for that initial visibility like that. So we're going to be hiding it. You'll be able to see the entire header, the you know the hero section of your page. And then as you scroll, it will appear. Let me show you that. All right, so here I am on an example website. It's just a you know, dummy layout here. So it's, you can see that there's no header at the top. When I start scrolling, it appears. See that? If I scroll back up, it's gone. Again, if I scroll down, it appears. And, and obviously you can adjust this header to actually look good, you know, adjust the design and all that, but that's how it works. So any page that you want this, you can add the theme builder template and apply the tutorial of the code that we have in the tutorial. So let's get started into that. I have the link to this in the video description. You will need this written blog post. And um, oh, I wanted to mention that I do have a link here to the Elegant Themes blog. They do have a tutorial with a very similar title. Now, their tutorial is um, complicated to, to say the least. And I, yeah, so often, you know, different you know designers and developers do things differently and that's okay. Um, but when I tried to follow their tutorial, um, it was it was very hard and um, I gave up. <laughs> it, it was that complicated. So I decided to simplify it. And so here it is and um, you can use mine. So the prerequisite here, you know, we have to be using the theme builder. We are showing that here. So on this website, the global header is what I'm using. I'm just going in here um, to edit it right here. And you can just go in and edit the um, set up your menu. We'll be doing that here quickly. Um, we'll be doing that here when we look at um, adding the class. So let's move on to that. If you're not familiar with the header, be sure to check out our um, theme builder course. That would be a good idea to start using the theme builder. All right, so step number one, add this CSS class to your header. So it's PA header, hide before scroll. Now that goes to like the blue section, your header, the, bl the blue section in your header. Let me show you that. So open up whichever header template you're using, whether it's a global one or if it's on a specific page, that's going to be up to you. But in this case, I'm doing it for you know my entire site. So I'll open that up. So open up the, the settings of the section, go to the blue section settings right there, go to the advanced tab, the CSS ID and classes toggle, and then right here where it says CSS class, paste that in there. So you'll have that, all right? That's what you'll need to tell this section, you know, what to do. All right, when, when we're scrolling, that's what it's doing. Now we also need to, you know, reference that with some code. Now in step two, I have information about setting the that blue section to sticky. And the reason we need to do that is because when it starts to scroll, then you're using the Divi sticky settings, okay? But before that, when it's not showing, there's no option for that in the settings. So this is required um, for it to stick as you start scrolling. So you can go ahead and follow this tutorial. It's pretty, pretty simple to see what I'm doing. The advanced tab, um, the scroll effects, and then click stick to top. So there you go. Just make sure this is on stick to top, okay? And that will make the entire blue section stick as we scroll. All right, so step number three is adding a jQuery snippet. And what this snippet is doing is basically it's toggling the visibility of that section. So it's adding a class and removing a class. And then in the CSS, we're controlling that visibility. So what's happening is, you know, when you scroll up, it's hiding it, right? And then when you scroll down, it starts to show it. And then the sticky options that we just set come into effect. But the visibility is controlled by both the um, the jQuery right here toggling those those classes on and off, okay? And then go ahead and add that. Um, actually, let me do that quick before we continue. Um, go in back into your theme builder or um, I was going to say that would work. You could do that. Um, you can add code like this in a code module like this. Um, and you can just paste it right there and that way it'll remain in this header. 
or you could always go to theme options and then go to the integration tab and paste it right here. Okay, so that's that's going to be up to you. This is this is a good idea if you have a lot and you want to be able to reference it, or like if 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 in your mind you know you want it to only be in the theme builder because then you'll know where it's at there. Well, then whatever works for you. All right. So the next step is the CSS, and again, this is working alongside the jQuery, and you would add this CSS. Um, to your theme options, <laughs> it's close to where I was, not quite where I was. In fact, let's go back there. Um, go to the theme options again, and this time instead of the integration tab, we're going to the general tab at the very bottom here. We can add it here, okay? So copy this code, and then I'll explain more what it's doing. So paste it there in your theme options and save. So now you have Let's, let's go over what you have so far. So you have number one is the class added. Then you have it set to sticky. Then you have the jQuery added in your theme options or in a code module. And then you have the CSS added in your theme options or in a child theme. Um, and so what this is doing, in fact, oh, I have a, an explanation here. Um, so yeah, we're just setting everything in the CSS is related to that visibility of the header. Okay. And so there's some things here that's affecting the height and we're using the transform and transition effects. And then we're, um, visibility is hidden for, uh, in one condition. See here, PA header hide before scroll. It's going to be hidden. And then this PA scroll header is added right here. Add class PA scroll header by the jQuery. And so then when that class is engaged, then the visibility is visible. So in other words, when you start scrolling down, then this code takes effect. Okay. And when you scroll up, this code takes effect. Um, and then, well, the same thing applies to these as well. So it's, we're, we're, the reason these are separate is because these are targeting the menu module, um, it, it just acts weird if you don't yet yeah, if you don't have that when you scroll up or down notice how the visibility of the header moves away like the menu is a is slower and so we're just targeting um the menu here to to solve that problem so you, you need all this code anyway so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial um, i tried to explain it as good as possible and and, and make it you know easy for you to do um, and so if you do enjoy this and you're using this, let me know. I hope you find it useful. Subscribe to our channel here. Uh, we do tutorials every week and we have more coming and we have hundreds of them already published. Um, be sure to check those out. We have actually a lot on the header as well, the menu. Um, yeah, we just have hundreds of them for real. Um, so that's what you get here. A lot of our viewers are not subscribed. So if you subscribe, that actually um, helps me, helps the algorithm and helps me get more um, views so that I can make more content like this. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.